Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to talk about different extrusion process and basically forward and backward that is direct and indirect extrusion. So today we are going to see different types of extrusion processes. The first process is direct extrusion. So in the diagram you can see it is a basic extrusion process. You have a cylinder, material is filled in the cylinder in the form of a billet, a ram is used to push the material, material comes out of a small opening from the cylinder and your object is made. Material is heated so that it can easily come out from the opening. So this this is forward extrusion because the direction of the material is equal to the direction of the ram. If you need a hollow object in this case, you have to keep a billet at the opening so that the material comes out in the form of a hollow section. This is the diagram of indirect extrusion. So what is the difference between direct and indirect? In indirect extrusion, the direction of the ram and direction of the material coming out is opposite. Ram is going in a different direction, material is coming out from a different direction. The process is same, extrusion is done, but direction is different. That's why it is known as backward or indirect extrusion. Again, if you want to make a hollow object, you have to keep a billet at the opening so that a hollow object can be made. Object in the form of a pipe or any kind of other tube. So this diagram is of hot extrusion. Extrusion process, whole process is same. It can be forward or it can be backward also, but the material coming out should be heated so that it can be easily forwarded. So the hot extrusion is again classified in the following three types. One is lubrication, second non-lubrication, third is hydrostatic. So in lubrication type, what you use, you use a normal ram, you use a normal opening, but the whole arrangement has some kind of grease or some kind of lubrication so that the material flows out easily. So in this non-lubrication system, you don't have a grease or kind of glass to help the material coming out. You have your normal ram and your normal system with the dead metal zone so that which helps your material coming out easily. So in hydrostatic extrusion, the name is hydrostatic, so you need water. So in this, your billet is completely surrounded with pressurized liquid, which is almost 1400 megapascal pressure and your ramming takes place and your exact extrusion takes place. So after hot extrusion will come to cold extrusion. This is normal extrusion process done in normal environment. No heating part, nothing. All the process is same. Like you have to use your ram, you have to use your material, getting pushed, coming out. So impact extrusion is kind of press forging process. So in which your material is being kept, there is a hammer which is your punch, your slug, your material is being kept, it is getting punched, it is getting the shape of the die. So this classification is according to the equipment. This is a vertical equipment. All the process takes place in vertical direction according to the flow of gravity. And again, this is according to equipment. The equipment is a horizontal equipment. Extrusion takes place horizontally. So these were some general basic classification of extrusion process. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.